Today, I'd like to talk about self-doubt um, because it's a topic that comes up a lot with uh, coaching leadership at all levels. So I invite you to think about if we were, if you were followed by someone with a camera, what it would look like. What are you doing? What are you not doing? How are you showing up? How are you not showing up? So let's imagine we are following ourselves through our working life. What do little setbacks look like that can bruise our confidence? Let's think about it. The lost sale, the flat presentation, the inadvertent mishandling of a difficult situation, and so on. Difficult team member playing up. How do you deal with it when you're put on the spot? So how is this holding you back in your career? Personal resilience is the first thing that comes to mind. It's probably the main thing that has held my clients back. And if you haven't developed a coping and recovery strategy or don't, or a don't give a shit attitude, where you leave your emotions out of your professional decisions, self-doubt can creep in. And if left unchecked for a number of months, this can affect your well-being and um, personal performance in the workplace as a leader. So why is it important to work with a coach to um, overcome this? Well, you increase your personal resilience by providing, by the coach providing techniques to enhance motivation, adaptability and confidence. And thus, minimizing the opportunity for self-doubt to undermine your personal effectiveness. Um, so what's your career trajectory if you don't overcome the stumbling block of self-doubt? And how can this prevent you as a leader or you as a manager from demonstrating your true potential by making you overcautious and worry of making simple decisions for fear of failure. So how to beat self-doubt and overcome more resilience and how to become more resilient at work? Well, it's perfectly normal for everyone to experience self-doubt occasionally, but regular or constant um, self-doubt is an issue that needs to be addressed big time and uh, i think the first thing you need need to remember is never forget that anybody is perfect humans are fallible full stop furthermore everyone experiences self-doubt everyone is nervous at some point and everyone makes mistakes so you're not unique in this respect Self-doubt is a natural phenomenon, uh, which we can take as our flight state or relaxed state. But one of the best ways to deal with it is to recognize the events and situations which prompt self-doubt. Self -doubt. We can look at um, how other people deal with, deal with them successfully, and you can emulate them or learn how from other people's mistakes and think that's not the way I want to do it. So if a situation prompts self-doubt, think what's the worst scenario that could happen? Many leaders surprisingly are fearful of public speaking or giving presentations or advice to their team. Yet these are not life or death situations. Uh, what is the worst thing that could possibly happen to you? You might forget your fluff, you might forget or fluff your lines or accidentally say or do something that is mildly embarrassing. But you know what? So what? Analyze the situation beforehand. Take everything into consideration of what could possibly go wrong. Prepare your speech. You know your speech inside out. You know nothing can go wrong. You are super confident in delivering this. And this will provide you with the reassurance needed to be amazing. Even if something does go wrong, so what? Once the moments has passed, it's history. It's gone forever. 
the key thing is to focus upon dealing with the situation and moving on. So go with your gut instinct is what I say before self-doubt has a chance to show up and stop you. If faced with a particular situation or event that is liable to cause self-doubt in the workplace, rely on your knowledge and experience. Think about, think back at similar situations and follow your instincts. Nine times out of 10, I can guarantee you will choose an appropriate course of action. And the more this times, the more you do this, the more it happens, the more feelings of self-doubt will diminish. So just do it. As Knight could say, just do it. Self-doubt can often cause us to make excuses for not acting even when there is an justifiable reason not to act. In each situation, am I good enough to apply for that promotion? Or should I ask for that pay rise? Or should I publish my report, etc.? It is better to simply go up the nettle and just do it, rather than wallow in what could happen and the damaging aspects of self-doubt. So learn to love yourself. Each of us is unique in our own way. And if you stop to consider it for a moment, you can almost certainly think of something that you can do better than anyone else. Your superpower. Focus on your strengths and abilities and situations in which you've excelled. And actions for which you've been praised by others. So building self doubt is about self-awareness of your own positive traits and appreciating that there are things that you excel at rather than needlessly dwelling on what you may or may not be able to do. Overcoming self-doubt and becoming more resilient are essential factors for becoming an amazing leader it also helps you be happy, productive, and successful in your work-life balance.